In the county of Dorset in southern England, nestling in its very own valley, there's a centuries-old village called Tynum. It's been said that Tynum's woods, home to all manner and variety of flora and fauna, were alive with birdsong from dawn till way past dusk, and that rooks cawed constantly in ancient elms. But something happened to Tynum, something devastating for all who lived there, man, woman and child, something that even silenced the birds in the trees. It happened in wartime, the 1940s. World War II had been raging in Europe since 1939. In 1943, the British government's war office felt a need for more land to test weapons, practice tank maneuvers and train new troops. The Tynham Valley being ideal country for such work, the Prime Minister, Winston Churchill, gave the order for it to be cleared of all residents. In November 1943, some 225 people were given 28 days notice to leave their homes. Having no choice, and in many cases nowhere to go and no means of financial support, on the 19th of December, the last Tynham resident left the village and the valley. The government had assured them that they would be allowed to return after the war, but that promise was never kept. No one was allowed to return, and the properties, badly abused by the army, eventually fell into ruin. Here's the way Tynum looks today. And here are some of the people who lived there over the years.
Eight full decades and more have passed since that fateful December. Hateful December for most, if not all. Someone should write a novel about it. And someone has. In this ruined place, Tynum has a new name, Rookley, and the story concerns an American woman, Evie Cobb, who returns to the ruined valley visited many years ago when she made the acquaintance of an elderly man who was one of those evicted just days before Christmas, 1943. A man who'd returned for a very unusual and very specific reason. A reason which changed Evie's life in ways that only now, these many years later, she can fully recognize.